Hi everyone and welcome to the AQA GCSE History Elizabeth's First Revision Series. This is episode 1 and we'll be looking at an introduction to Elizabeth I. Queen Elizabeth I was from the House of Tudor. The Tudor family had ruled England since Henry VII became king in 1585. Henry VII's son, Henry VIII, ruled England from 1509 to 1547. Henry had six wives. His first wife, Catherine of Aragon, gave birth to their daughter, Mary I. His second wife, Anne Boleyn, gave birth to Elizabeth I. And his third wife, Jane Seymour, gave birth to Edward VI. Edward VI then becomes king first. He was crowned only aged nine in 1547. However, in 1533, he dies from TB. Interestingly, the throne now doesn't go to Mary I, but goes to a woman named Lady Jane Grey. Lady Jane Grey was actually fit in line to the throne, but it was Edward's personal choice as she was Protestant. However, Lady Jane Grey only actually ruled for nine days, because her and her father-in-law, the Duke of Northumberland, were commended for high treason and thus executed. Mary I, also known as Mary Tudor and Bloody Mary, then comes to the throne. She reigns from 1553 to 1558. She also marries Spain's King Philip II, who would later become one of Elizabeth's suitors. But who was Elizabeth, and what was she really like? Well... She was Henry VIII's second child and daughter of his second wife, Anne Boleyn. She was third in line to the throne behind Edward VI and Mary I. Elizabeth had a difficult childhood and often feared her safety. In 1554, she was accused of conspiring against Mary I and as a result, she was placed under house arrest for around a year. But she was highly educated and very intelligent and despite the fact she had very little training in how to govern, she turned out to be a very effective and powerful leader. But due to her difficult upbringing, Elizabeth was sometimes indecisive and only placed her trust in a couple of close advisers. She was reluctant to make important decisions and she often feared the consequences. But some people just didn't like Elizabeth. Some of these views were to do with the fact that she was female. To be a woman was inferior, and during the 16th century, many believed that the monarch should be a man, and to rule as a woman would be unnatural. Many just expected Elizabeth to be a figurehead and allow her male counsellors and advisers to take control, or she would find a husband to govern for her instead. But in reality, Elizabeth was determined to rule over England, and she refused to give up any of her power. Another view was the fact that she was illegitimate. In 1533, Henry VIII divorced his first wife, Catherine of Aragon, and married Elizabeth's mother, Anne Boleyn. In the Catholic Church, divorce was a sin, so many Catholics believed that Henry's marriage to Anne was invalid, thus making Elizabeth an illegitimate child and heir to the throne. These issues of Elizabeth's legitimacy weakened her claim to the throne, and some believe that Mary, Queen of Scots, was a more rightful heir to the throne. So that's the end of episode one of the AQA GCSE History Elizabeth I Revision Series. Episode two will be on the Elizabethan court. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please remember to like, subscribe and leave any questions in the comments below.